Hi, Patrick Kelly, distinguished architect at, at Zoom. I, um, I wanted to talk today about the Zoom platform. I, I wear this shirt uh, to the grocery store. I have a number of, of Zoom shirts. Uh, uh, that's my attire. That's pretty much what I wear every day at work. Sometimes if it's a really important meeting, I'll, I'll throw a polo on. Right. Uh, but today it's a T-shirt. I get a T-shirt today and I wear it uh, even to the gym sometimes or I wear it to the grocery store uh, or out. And, and you'd be amazed or maybe you wouldn't be amazed at the number of people that come up to me and say, oh, my God, I love Zoom for meetings. And I'm like, fantastic. Did you know we do it a lot more? <laughs> We do a lot more than just than just meetings, and and well, and that's part of uh, that's part of the problem, or maybe the issue, or maybe uh, education, or a talk track per se. And maybe you're going to get one today because we're going to talk about Zoom as a platform. We're going to talk about Zoom as an ecosystem because it's more than an application. Of course, you know, three years ago, two and a half years ago, when the pandemic started up, everyone knew. Or everyone quickly knew the name Zoom. Uh, it, it obviously escalated and, and scaled to worldwide uh, knowledge and, and phenomenon as, as people clamored to work from home, to communicate from home, to collaborate from home, to stay connected from home. And Zoom was there with Zoom meetings to solve all of those issues. And everyone became, uh, the word Zoom became synonymous with, with video conferencing, really. No one ever says, hey, let's WebEx later, or hey, let's Microsoft Teams later. No, they're like, hey, Zoom later. Zoom is now a noun and a verb, right? Uh, and that's a great thing, but it's also part of the, what we're going to talk about today, because Zoom is, is way, way more than just meetings uh, and very obviously prominent part of our, our application suite of products. But did you know that Zoom had a whole bunch of other stuff? Let's kind of take a look at it here. Let's just go to what they call Zoom One. Zoom One is, is if you haven't seen this new box, this new, sorry, box, it's a circle. It's a circle, I don't know why I said box. If you haven't seen this new circle that Zoom uh, launched as a part of the rebranding effort, I wanted you to take a look at it because we're going to talk about part of it. Well, actually, we're going to talk about all of it. And the first part is Zoom One. Zoom uh, has has relabeled this Zoom One. And look, and, and certainly everyone knows everyone knows about meetings. Like that's the prominent part of the the Zoom portfolio. But did you know about did you know about Zoom Phone? Did you know about Zoom webinars? Did you know about Zoom, Zoom Team Chat? Did you know about Whiteboard? Did you know about events? Did you know about any of those things? We do a pretty good job on all of them. And that's just part of Zoom One. All of those applications for UCAS, a complete UCAS application right there in Zoom One. Zoom One's a, obviously at the top because they, it's, a, it's a prominent part of every single one of our applications and, and how we can bundle those together. And Zoom does a really good job of all of that stuff. But did you see that there's a whole bunch more of that circle that's not even included in Zoom One? Let's take another look. Let's take another look real quick. Zoom One right here. But now let's kind of go to the, to the right of that. Zoom IQ for sales. Did you even know about this? Well, if you watched the video I did with Preethi, you would have known about it. Zoom IQ for sales is the analytics portion of Zoom. Using Zoom AI to make your salespeople better at an enterprise level. The ability to use analytics and research and all the dashboard for reporting to make your sales force better. To use the tools of Zoom One and Zoom Phone to sell more using the data that you collect from Zoom IQ. If you haven't seen that video, uh, it's, it's, go, to the, go to the video section of YouTube. You can see and search for Zoom IQ. It's right there. There's a 30, 38 minute video on all of the, the, the parts of Zoom IQ and how you can use that in your enterprise today to make your salespeople better. And let's go, let's go to the next part. Look at that Zoom developers. What is Zoom developers? It's the apps the APIs, the SDKs, 
and the marketplace. But what does that actually mean? Here's what it means. Zoom has a very open API and SDK philosophy, meaning you can bring Zoom into your application. You can literally use Zoom APIs to bring all the parts of Zoom One into your app. We can have, even use video SDKs to bring Zoom video inside of your application or your, even your web page. I know we have a, one of the companies that really uses Zoom video SDK inside of the web page so users can click on it and get immediate support using Zoom as the back end for that video technology. If you haven't been to the Zoom app marketplace, you're missing out because not only can you bring Zoom into your application, you can also bring your application into Zoom, but then you, Zoom partners with thousands, literally 2,000 plus last time I looked, partners and ISV vendors that are bringing applications into the meeting, as well as applications into, into a, a bots, using AI, using uh, Solvi, using uh, have you, Warmly is another app, uh, Prezi is another app. I did a, a, a video on Pitch Hub last week where you can literally bring teleprompters inside of Zoom. There's thousands of examples of all these partners making products, making applications, developing software to fit inside that Zoom architecture. And while that's so important, is then as, as an information worker, or a knowledge worker, you can stay within the context of Zoom and the Zoom application more often, creating more productivity more efficiency for your end users. There was a Harvard Business Review study a couple of weeks ago that just came out, and I'll put it in the, in the bottom here, that literally talked about application affinity or context switching, meaning users up to 1,200 times a day, knowledge workers and users switch apps. And think about that from maybe from Outlook or Gmail to a web browser to PowerPoint to Google Slides to uh, Salesforce or Dynamics. You're switching apps 1,200 times a day. Harvard Business Review said losing up to 9% of your productivity. Well, that's what Zoom wants to do is increase that productivity, increase that application affinity, meaning staying in the Zoom app longer to get more work done because you don't have to leave to do all these other things. You can stay within the Zoom application and really do your complete UCAS workload. Staying within one application, not having to leave to do your chats, to do your meetings, to make phone calls, to attend webinars, to create events, to go to breakout rooms. You can stay within the Zoom uh, uh, client and do all those things. That's a really big part of that extensibility of, of Zoom as an application. What's next, you might say, Patrick? Well, let's take a look. Zoom Contact Center. Zoom Contact Center, as well as the Solvi acquisition. The Contact Center is a paramount part of, of most enterprises today. Maybe not for the average knowledge worker or information worker, but contact center is a part of a vast revenue generating or even support structure of most large enterprises. They need, and it's beyond phone, right? It's beyond the knowledge worker, information worker's uh, uh, use of a Zoom phone. It's that call center capability, those advanced IVRs and auto attendance and call queues, video engagement center. With Solvi acquisition, we brought in AI into this contact center uh, uh, discussion and topic. Utilizing the power of all those tools, again, administering it from the same dashboard, reporting from the same dashboard, deploying from the same dashboard, consuming from the same client, one experience, one application. Again, completing that UCAS stack more so, advancing beyond just meetings into phone and webinars and breakout rooms and, and now, now call center. What's next, Patrick? What's next? Zoom spaces, digital signage, conferencing rooms, workplace reservation. The last two years, we probably haven't spent a lot of time in the conferencing room, right? We've been at home. 
We've been remote. We've been working maybe from the office. But now, as we've progressed through the pandemic and starting to go into a flexible work model, a hybrid work model, more users and knowledge workers and information workers are going back into the office. And when you go back to the office in masses, you're going to use a conferencing room. You're going to need to, to take advantage of all those rooms that probably maybe collected dust for the last two years. But now as we go back, we're going to have to leverage all that technology. And that's exactly what Zoom Spaces is for. Zoom Rooms, part of that, the cornerstone of, of Zoom Spaces, the ability to walk into a conferencing room, start up an ad hoc meeting right from the Zoom Room itself, or walk into a conferencing room for a scheduled meeting with your coworkers and colleagues, internal or external, utilizing the power of Smart Gallery to frame everyone's picture in one in one frame and, and democratizing the, the video experience, whether you're in the office or out at, out at a remote site or out at the customer site or even at home, making that same digital real estate imprintable to everyone that's part of the meeting as a presenter or attendee. Zoom rooms, the power of Zoom rooms, the deployment and ease and use of efficiency of Zoom rooms, cornerstone of that Zoom spaces. Then we get into digital signage. Did you even know Zoom was a digital signage company? When you buy well, even one, I think, uh, license of Zoom rooms, you get automatic digital signage for your company worldwide. You can use digital signage, marketing, information, lobbies, all that work of a digital signage. You don't need to go to a separate application or a separate company or a separate contract, a separate support system to use digital signage, all built into the Zoom Spaces platform. Workspace reservation. Now that we're going back to the office and maybe have uh, the need to, to reserve workspaces, maybe you don't even have a cubicle or an office anymore, but you want to go to uh, back to the office and, and grab a space. You can literally reserve spaces now with workspace reservation. And again, built into the same platform, the same ecosystem of Zoom. This is a powerful message. Because Zoom, if you haven't figured out after this presentation, is beyond just meetings. Zoom is a complete UCAS platform. And the more you're part of that ecosystem, the easier and more productive your users become. You're now using one application to communicate and collaborate internally as well as externally. You're using one application to attend meetings, phone, webinars, chat and collaborate. You're using one application for your UCAS solution. So I, I, just, I just really wanted to showcase the power of the Zoom platform today beyond, beyond just meetings. Patrick Kelly, Tattooed Nerd.